Let's say you have created a fire in Blender, and you have also rendered it correctly, using this transparent background option, as usual. It may also look perfect in the render output, but if you try to use it in another program, if you want to superimpose this fire on another picture, or a video, it won't work. You'll either get a black output, or a very faint picture that does not look good, it does not look like a bright fire. And the reason behind this is, fire is a transparent emissive material, which means all the pixels are either transparent, or semi-transparent, with additive lighting. So we need to set their transparency correctly, but first we have to ensure that the fire has the correct look in the rendered view mode. And to do that, we have to set up a suitable material for the domain object. It starts with the temperature attribute from fluid physics, and then we have a very basic setup to create the fire texture. You can definitely improve it further, there are many tutorials on how to create fire, but this tutorial is about fire with transparency. So once the fire looks good in the rendered view, we have to enable the transparent output using this option, it comes under the film section in the render properties. Then we have to go to the compositor and enable the use nodes option. We will get these two default nodes, one render layer output, and the other is the composite output. Now, we need to connect this to a set alpha node. It corrects the alpha or the transparency of an image, and we need to change this option from apply mask to replace alpha. Then we need to bring this same image to this alpha socket, so basically it has to be connected to both the inputs, and we need to use its output in the composite node. This simple setup will give us the correct result, and we can superimpose this fire on any other picture or any video as well, but there is a catch here. It works only if the scene has nothing else, apart from this fire, and there are no other objects in the scene. But let's say we have some more objects there, like these woods, along with the fire. Now in order to render this correctly, with transparency, we need to make some changes in our compositor. So before this set alpha, we need to connect it to a color ramp node, to bring it within the 0 to 1 range. Then the output of this color ramp has to go to an add node from the math group. And for the second socket, we need to connect the alpha input of the original render layer. This can be used as the transparency of the final output, so we'll connect it to the alpha input of the set alpha node. That's all we need for the correct output, now if we render this image, we'll get the correct transparency for everything. And we can also add a border around this fire, so that it looks better when superimposed. So we have to bring this white handle to 0.5 or 0.6, which controls the border thickness. Now if we render it again, it will add a border to the transparent fire, which will be visible when we save this output. So let's go to save as, it's very important to select this RGBA option that adds the transparency, and you can select the 16-bit output if you need a better color range. Now we can superimpose this fire on any picture, it looks very bright and beautiful. Then we can even render it as a video, and use that video as a transparent fire for any composition. So I hope you like this quick tutorial, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.